word a word is defined as a unit of language it functions as a principal carrier of meaning in a language a group of meaningful words combined together to form phrases and then to sentences a word consists of one or more morphemes lexeme a lexeme is a theoretical construct that stands for the unitary meaning and share syntactic properties of a group of word forms in other words it is a set of forms taken by a single word examples words go goes going and gone are forms of the same lexeme go words play place playing and played are forms of the same lexeme play the complete set of meaningful units in language is called lexicon form class and function class words words are classified into different word classes on the basis of their form and function such classification can also be on the basis of phonological morphological and syntactic properties the term word class is similar to the term part of speech it is also known as grammatical lexical or syntactic category word class is of two types form class and function class form class words form class words provide the primary lexical content that's why it is known as lexical class words or content class words this class include noun verb adjective and adverb it is large open class because new nouns verbs adjectives and adverbs are regularly entering to the language due to new technologies and ideas it is open to new words so it is known as open class words form class words do not occur frequently in sentences examples boy eat cheap slowly etc function class words the function class words explain the grammatical function or the structural relationship that is why it is known as grammatical class words or structure class words this class include determiner pronoun auxiliary conjunction quantifier interrogative and preposition it is limited closed class because we cannot create new pronouns determiners prepositions etc to the language so it is also known as closed class words function class words occur more frequently in sentences examples he it many at who if and the etc morphological operations or processes a morphological process is a means of changing a word usually a stem to adjust its meaning in a sentence morphological process can have derivational functions and inflectional functions that is either it can create a new word or it can change the grammatical relationships between words there are two types of morphological operations concatenative and non concatenative concatenative or have contact means forming new words or lexical items by putting at least two distinct morphemes together examples affixation and compounding non concatenative or have no contact means a word is created on the basis of linguistic operations on one morpheme examples reduplication ablot suppletion etc concatenative morphological processes the first one is affixation it is the process of word formation through prefix suffix infix and circumfix examples unhappy lovely mothers in law enlighten etc the second one is compounding it is the process of combining two words to create 
a new word the two words may be free morphemes or a free morpheme and a bound morpheme compounds are written as one word two hyphenated words or two separate words in most of the compounds the rightmost morpheme determines the category of the word formed that is dog house is a noun because house is a noun nationwide is an adjective because wide is an adjective kick start is a verb because start is a verb etc there are two types of compounds endocentric compounds and exocentric compounds endocentric compounds are words that convey the meaning of the word from itself examples dog house a house intended for dog bookshelf a shelf for keeping books etc endocentric compounds are called tatpurusha compounds in the sanskrit tradition exocentric compounds are words that doesn't convey its meaning by itself that is it have an outside meaning not exactly the meaning of the words joined examples scarecrow it is not a kind of crow but an object made to resemble a human figure set up to scare birds away from a field where crows are grown pickpocket it is not a kind of pocket but a person who picks pockets etc exocentric compounds are called bahuvrihi compounds in sanskrit tradition non concatenative morphological processes the first one is reduplication it is a morphological process in linguistics where the root word or a part of it is repeated or duplicated which may have slight change in order to form a new word for example bye bye tip top see so etc the repeated element is called a reduplicant there are two types of reduplication total reduplication and partial reduplication total reduplication means duplicating the entire word examples din din goody goody etc partial reduplication means duplicating only a part of the word examples criss cross zig zag etc the second one is a blot it is also known as gradation it is a process in which an inflected form of a word is formed by changing the vowel of the base examples sing sang drive drove swim swam etc the third one is suppletion it is the use of two or more phonetically distinct roots for different forms of the same word in other words semantically same words with phonetical differences examples good best tall taller paradigm for the verb be in english is also characterized by suppletion that is am um, are is was where and be 